Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. Let's have a look at ProAx Speaker Fix. This is my recommendation for tweaking the sound. So I've been through this before. Um, this is generally what I would recommend with most speakers, but especially ProAc, um, that I find generally to be lacking a bit of heft and, and weight in the bottom and just being more uh, natural generally. I think that this will help you a lot, uh, no matter what ProAx speaker you have. So, yeah, just if you have these, you know, built-in connectors or whatever they're called, jumpers, uh, uh, plates or whatever, get rid of those things and uh, get some LX96 uh, connectors that you make. Check out my other video on that. Um, and then basically what you do is you get the same cable. Uh, it's an audio note uh, cable. Uh, one cable to rule them all check out that video and check also this video out and then you just put it at the bottom so uh, I don't know if it's this way or that way I, th I think it's this way um, <clears throat> typically what you would do is uh, you then put them at the base terminals it gives you a bit better timing, uh, sound settles a bit more, everything becomes more uh, natural, and you can of course turn up the volume more. So what you get is just a more complete sound, something that isn't locked in, in like the the mid-level uh, of, of the mid-range. It feels like it has more of a travel from um, the bass to the mid-range to the, the treble. <clears throat> So there's no reason uh, not really to do this. And um, yeah, just uh, check out my, my two other videos on the specifics of that. But um, yeah, I, I, that that would really help a lot, especially when you have some lower end ProAx speakers. Um, and just generally speakers, um, if, if you do this, it's, it's a sort of way of cheating, uh, cheating, sorry. <clears throat> where you're creating the illusion of you actually having a, a model that is, I would say at least one model up from, from what you have compared to the uh, using the uh, the standard clips or whatever you call them. So yeah, that, that's my little tweak for you that you can uh, use. And um, then you also get to try a bit of audio note so you know that, you know, generally uh, what are they doing with their sound you know uh, so it, it's it's a bit like you getting like one tenth of the uh, the audio note sound on your system so that can only make it better usually um, this is a pretty versatile um, fix you know I, I've been thinking a lot about this and there are almost no speakers in the world where this won't make the sound better of course on audio note speakers that are that have a built-in cable that is above this which is the audio note e-line once you get from like the uh, i think the top 10 models then of course you want to do this with a connector that's you know spe 19 instead of this stuff here or uh, vx or whatever it's called uh, spx i think it's called um of course, you want to do that instead, but then you've also got a, a very rare, um, high quality speaker. So, of course, you'll you'll have to adjust doing that. But I, I think I also mentioned that in uh, in, in the video uh, that I've created, uh, these, uh, this one video here. So, um, I hope that helps you guys. I hope that helps you guys so you don't have to, like, buy a completely new speaker when, in fact, you can just do this and solve a hell of a lot of other problems with the system. So, uh, yeah, that's my gift to you guys. Have a nice day.